Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today's plan with me is gonna be a really fun one, at least I hope, um, because I'm planning the week of July 2nd through the 8th, which is the week of 4th of July, but it's also the week of my birthday, which is on the 6th. So I turned 29 on the 6th, last year of my 20s, here we go. And so I will be using a birthday themed kit rather than a 4th of July themed kit. I think I looked it up and it's like the year 2020 before my birthday and 4th of July will be on different weeks and I'll get to use like two different kits for those occasions. But anyways, for my birthday, I picked up this really, really gorgeous kit from Hello Petite Paper and it's really just a celebrations kit, not necessarily birthday specific, but I did pick up this extra sheet of deco that she had um, that was separate from the kit because it does have like a little happy birthday sticker and um, a lot of little deco pieces, which I know I'll have some left over and I'll be able to pull these into my Hobonichi for journaling. And so so what we've got here, I'm going to quickly go over the sheets in this kit. We've got eight full boxes. We have our bottom washi, washi strips, and some deco. Super gorgeous. We have the ombre heart checklists. We've got half boxes, and these are all so pretty. We have our headers, and then the functional sheet, which has like flags, icons, um, quarter boxes, heart checklists, and all that other good stuff. So um, definitely a fuller kit. I thought I would splurge for my birthday. I'm also planning on pulling in like tons of gold gold foil stickers and also the Simply Gilded um, gold foil bow washi. Of course, these are my favorites. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's about it. I'll explain everything as I go along, but I hope you guys really enjoy this one. I hope it turns out really gorgeous because of course it's my birthday. I want to make it really special. And yeah, so let's get started with the bottom washi. Like I said, I'm going to be pulling in the Simply Gilded washi. I think I'm just going to layer it right on top. So hopefully that turns out cute and let's get started. So first things first, I'm whiting out the lines of my Erin Condren planner because the washi is quite transparent and so it will, like the lines will show up through it and I don't want that to happen, especially for this spread. And um, so I go ahead and place down the washi on both sides. Then I trimmed the washi that came in the kit so that only the floral part of the washi remains and I think that turned out really, really cute together, um, layered like that. And then moving on to my sidebar, I put down the Celebrate Life box as my top corner box and and then instead of putting down flags for this week to cover the Erin Condren flags, um, I don't think any came in the kit. So I whited it out and then used a cupcake deco sticker um, next to where it says July 2018. Then I continue with my sidebar. So I put down a rose gold glitter header that came with the kit. I found this habit tracker in my collection. I think it was a leftover from a My Newest Addiction kit. And I use that to mark working out. Then I used a flag with a heart checklist sticker to mark my happy moments of the week. And at the bottom, I put down a This Week header with a Monday through Sunday tracker, which was also a leftover one because um, I don't think this kit came with any sidebar stickers. I then went back and switched out the flag uh, for my happy moments. I think I wanted it to match the ombre heart checklist box. I also pulled in a gold foil bow from Clever Gal Crafts. Like I mentioned, there's going to be lots of gold foil. And um, I found these date covers that I just got from Paper Blush Bar. And they're super pretty with like the watercolor stroke background. And so I placed all of those down. And it also came with gold foil date dots. So I also placed those down as well. Moving to Monday, I start with a rose gold glitter header from the kit. Then I put down a flag and noted that I watched the World Cup game that day. So the World Cup was still going on during this time. And apparently nobody calls it just FIFA. So um, I had been like saying it wrong in my last video. Um, but it's really fun watching the games. I don't normally watch soccer or football as it is everywhere else in the world. Um, but it's fun when it's the World Cup. And then after that, I edited a video. So I put down a three arrow gold foil sticker from student planning the edit sticker is from samantha may sticks and i also pulled in a film clapper from mandy dreams under that i decided to put a strip of the simply gilded um, washi and it's the thinner one that matches the one i used as the bottom washi um, my boyfriend and i went to get some boba on that day so i used a boba sticker from paper and milk and then we decided to take a walk around the lake that's near our house it's really pretty there so i used a gold foil heart from clever gal Craft to mark that and I also did use my brush lettering pen again um, I believe it's the Tombow one and I'll link all of this stuff down below 
We then went to grab some groceries um, near where we went for a walk. So I used a flag to mark that. I did a workout, a bar workout when I got home. I just did it at home. Like it was a YouTube video I found that I really, really like. So I used a Planning World um, gold foil icon to mark that. And at the bottom, um, I wanted to mark that my friends and I went and got some sushi for dinner. I put that on a half box. And because there was a little space on top, um, I used one of the deco pieces from the deco sheet that I got to um, fill up that space. And then that sushi sticker I put down is from Hey Soul Sticker. Then for Tuesday, I started with a Today header at the top. Then I put down the um, half box with a gold foil balloon sticker from Student Planning to mark that I watch the World Cup games again that morning. Um, I used a to-do header underneath that with a three heart checklist to mark some things that we had to get done because we were gonna host the 4th of July barbecue slash party at our house the next day. And so there was a lot of stuff we had to clean and pick up for the party. Then I used a half box with a gold foil bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I went over to one of my friend's house and I met her baby girl who just turned a year old um, and that was my first time meeting her so that was really exciting. She is so so adorable and um, I didn't get to stay very long but it was really nice to finally meet her. Um, after that I went home and got ready really quick. The makeup sticker is from Chasing Chels and then one of my friends was celebrating her birthday on that Tuesday so I put down a celebrate script sticker that came in the deco sheet and then the um, burger and beer sticker that I just put down are from Dizzy Daisy Dreams because for her birthday she wanted to do like this in and out prom theme and so we all kind of got dressed up and went to in and out and then went out to grab some drinks after so that was really really fun and um, that's it for Tuesday so moving on to Wednesday I put down the blue full box at the top and then Wednesday was 4th of July which is Independence Day here in the US and so I use the 4th of July script sticker from Paper and Milk that was a collab she did and then I also also pulled in a gold foil heart sticker from White Deer Stationery, and we had some last minute cleaning to do in the morning before our friends arrived for the barbecue party. And so I put down another cleaning icon from Hello Petite Paper. Then I used the Let's Party circle sticker from the deco sheet. And then to mark the barbecue, I put down a half box. The really cute heart sunglasses are from Hazel Sticker. And then the barbecue sticker is from Kiki May Designs, which I'm not 100% sure if she's still open. I think I tried to find her Instagram and I couldn't find it so she may have rebranded after that I decided I wanted to add in a glitter header and so I peeled up the two stickers and added the rose gold glitter header on top and then I replaced that circle and half box at the end of Wednesday I just wanted to mark everything that happened because the party did go on like through the end of the night since we all went to watch fireworks together and so um, I just put down that we had some food we drank we played games and then went to watch a firework so it was really fun it was our first time I'm hosting a party and it went really well. Um, the beer sticker that I put down is from Paper and Milk and it's really tiny which is perfect to fit in that space. Um, on Thursday I started with a glitter header at the top then I used a pillow sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that we just had a lazy day we wanted to recover after hosting which is actually really exhausting and then also get ready for my birthday the next day. I used a quarter box with a laptop sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I binged on YouTube for quite a bit that morning morning and then I put down the full box which has a little bit of empty space in the middle and that was perfect because I did have to plan what I was going to do for my birthday and like send out all the text for it and everything and that took quite a bit of time so um, I used a gold foil bow sticker from Hazel sticker and then underneath that I went shopping and got some new shoes so I used a half box to mark that with a shopping bag sticker which came as a sampler from Hello Petite Paper. I then decided that I had a lot of extra space that I didn't need and so I added a strip of the Simply Gilded Skinny Washi on top of that just to help take up some space. The Beer Girl sticker I put at the bottom is from Kina Prince and I use that to mark that we went to a brewery at the end of the night and um, I ended up deciding it was a little bit crowded there at the bottom so I just shifted everything up a little bit and so it didn't feel so overwhelming and crowded. On Friday, to mark my birthday, I put down a full box at the top. I used the circle sticker that says happy birthday with a gold foil heart, or I'm sorry, a gold foil bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts again. Um, then I decided I wanted to add in the celebrate sticker that came in the deco sheet. And so I moved the circle icon up just a little bit and then fit the celebrate sticker underneath, which I think turned out super, super cute. And I used a little flag sticker again to mark that I watched the World Cup um, on that day. And then my boyfriend and 
and I went and got some lunch together at one of my new favorite spots called Kava. It's like a really good Mediterranean place that is like Chipotle style. So it's kind of like build your own and it's super good. The I used a taco sticker to mark that and that's from Plants with Vanessa. We then went to watch The Incredibles because honestly, we just needed to go somewhere that had air conditioning because that day happened to be like the hottest day ever. It was like 116 degrees where we were and we just needed somewhere to go that was going to be nice and cold. So we went to see The Incredibles 2. I put that on a gold foil movie marquee from student planning. And then I started from the bottom because I wanted to make sure I had enough space. At the very bottom, I put down a half box. Then I used a glitter header with a quarter box. So for my birthday, I just invited a bunch of friends out for dinner and drinks. And so we started at a pizza spot and that pizza sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And then we went to two bars after that. To mark that, I put down the gold foil balloons again from student planning. And then I just noted the two bars that we went to. Um, the last spot was actually super fun because they have a 90s cover band playing. And so it was really, really fun just like dancing to the 90s music and just singing our hearts out. And so, yeah, it was really, really good. I had a great birthday. Um, so then on Saturday, I started by putting down a today header at the top. I used a quarter box to mark that we watched the World Cup again. The TV sticker is from the Sparkly Studio. And then I made some tacos for lunch. Um, the taco sticker is from a happy blue tree. I then used a glitter header to mark some things that I had to get done around the house. Um, the bow, the gold foil bow checklist is from White Deer Stationery. And I think I actually used that a little bit earlier in the week and I I forgot to mention where those were from. I used a cute little dishes sticker from Let's Plan It, and then I switched around the header situation a little bit. I put down a half box to mark that I had to pick up my birthday gifts at a friend's house because um, I had Uber the night before and I wasn't able to bring home my gifts. The shopping bag sticker is from Plants with Vanessa, and then at this point I realized that I forgot to use the weekend banner that came with the kit, and it's so cute, so I wanted to use it. Um, so I lifted up the Today header and the World Cup sticker, and then I put down the Simply Gilded Washi there at the top and layered the weekend banner underneath it. And I just liked how that turned out. So I decided just not to mark the World Cup after all. Um, then moving back to Saturday, we went and got some boba after visiting our friend's place. And so I used a boba sticker from Plans with Vanessa. And then I put down the full box with the bows underneath that. It was a little bit too long to fit in the space. So I just cut it down with my slice exacto knife. I put down an edit sticker from Love Shara because I edited my plan with me that night. And then on top of that, I used a planning world gold foil icon to mark that I had to go pick up my credit card that I left at the bar the night before. Of course that would happen. And, um, I decided to switch out the, um, little edit icon that came with the sticker and I put down a laptop sticker instead from sticker blush and I think it was just because I wanted to pull in some pink there at the bottom um so anyways moving on to Sunday I started by putting down a glitter header at the top then I used a full box um with a half box over that to mark that I went and got some brunch with a couple friends um one of my friends was visiting from Seattle so we wanted to see her before she headed out later that day to mark the brunch, I put down pancake stickers from Kina Prince and then pulled in a gold foil heart from Student Planning. I then wrote in brunch with my Tombow lettering pen, which I really, really love. Then I went over to my friend's house to meet her cat and he's so, so cute. Um, he's really a good traveler. So he goes like on the plane with her. He will walk outside on a leash and go to like restaurants and things like that if they're cat friendly. And um, he's just super, super cute. So I put down a Maru cat sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. And then we went and got some ice cream with our friends because we wanted to say goodbye to our friend who was leaving for a long trip. Um, so I put down an ice cream sticker from Very Cute Designs. After that, we had some errands to run, so I put down an odds and ends header with a three heart checklist. The Happy Mail sticker came in the sampler from Hello Petite Paper. She has some really cute icons on the sampler. And then I decided I wanted to put ice cream on a quarter box, so I just added a quarter box on top there. Um, then moving to the bottom of the day, I basically did planning and voiceovers and stuff. So to mark that, I put down a planner sticker from the same uh, sampler that I got from Hello Petite Paper, and then the voice 
voiceover sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper, and it's super cute. It's her mascot cat doing a voiceover, and I think it's adorable. And that's pretty much it for my spread. I do switch up one more thing that you'll see at the very end, but first I'm just going in to um, fill out my sidebar with all of my happy moments and my dinners. So the last thing that I wanted to change was that on Tuesday, one of my really, really good friends gave birth to her baby girl, and I definitely wanted to mark that because it's really, really special. I've known her for a very long time, and um, yeah, that just means a lot to me. So I put down a quarter box with a gold foil heart sticker from Student Planning and just marked that they had their baby girl that day. And then the last thing I had to change was that there was only space for two things on my to-do list instead of three. So I just took out one of the heart checklist items and just um, left it at that. So that worked out really nicely. Um, the spread has a lot of really pretty gold foil. I'm doing a quick little Viv Wiggle to show you guys all of the beautiful gold foil that's in the spread. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. So that is it for this week and I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. I think it came out so beautifully and is everything that I want for my birthday. It literally has like all of my favorite things like the florals and all the pink, the gold foil, the bows, all that girly goodness that I love. So hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so, so much for watching as usual. I hope you all have a wonderful week and are enjoying a wonderful summer and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.